Disney is weighing two internal candidates to lead ESPN. In an unexpected announcement bound to reverberate across the sports media landscape, John Skipper, the president of ESPN, announced his resignation on Monday, citing a substance addiction of many years. Skipper, who has been president of the company since 2012, recently signed a contract extension through 2021. In ESPN's announcement of the resignation, Skipper, who turned 62 on Tuesday, said he had decided that the most important thing I can do right now is to take care of my problem. I come to this public disclosure with embarrassment, trepidation and a feeling of having let others I care about down, he said. Skipper did not specify which substance he has been struggling with. ESPN, a division of the Walt Disney Company, said George Bodenheimer, a former ESPN president who has also served as its executive chairman, would serve as its acting chairman for 90 days. The company will then presumably name a permanent president. Skipper had been very visible up until his resignation. Last weekend, he attended the company's telecasts of the Heisman Trophy ceremony and boxing match between Vasil Lomachenko and Guillermo Regenx. Last week, he was the keynote speaker at the Sports Video Group Summit and led a meeting at the company's Bristol, Connecticut, campus for 450 of its most prominent camera-facing talent. Skipper's portfolio was poised to grow. Disney recently announced a planned acquisition of 